Your friend woke up earlier today, you've spent some time talking about school and recent events, but still can't shake the feeling about something that just seems off. Finally, they go to sleep. You decide to take a walk to stretch your legs. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty, ah oh, yes, she wants to borrow our face. The aspiring model. 20 HP, minus 2 stamina, 30 power. How are my attacks looking on you? 3 damage, 60 chance to hit. 4 damage. Hmm. So I know if we defeat her, we get something that can increase luck, but it's also an equip slot that I need to keep the compass in for now, so... It's honestly not that useful. And stamina right now is lower for us, so... Yeah, that would be a problem. Plus, as this fight goes on, she does more damage. So, uh... Yeah, I, I think we're just going to make our exit. Bye. <sighs> the next day on your way home, you are stopped by your friend's mother. She hands you a package for her child. You promise to hand it over tonight. Important, you shouldn't open it now. What happens if I put that in my storage? Because, I mean, we have done this mystery before on the channel, and the package ends up being a steak knife that uh, gets used against you in the final battle. I can't throw the package away or sell it. What could be inside? Yeah, I'll just uh, put that in storage. I wonder if that's actually going to do anything. Just to check. Yep, same thing. They performed countless dissections to find the answer. Instead, they found it. Anatomy horror. That's unsettling. 16 HP, minus 1 all, 10 power. Oh, but you're a ghost enemy. Sever their ties to our world. Time needed, 100. Steak knife deals for damage, but it doesn't even apparently have, like, a uh, chance to hit or anything. So I would win in two turns. I just want to see what happens. Anatomy horror drains you. Okay, so nothing really special or anything. Didn't get an item drop or anything. You decide it's better not to mention the curious package. Your friend doesn't ask about it anyway. It did do something different! There's something in the look of their eyes that makes you think that they know. Oh, that's interesting. Walking through the hospital corridor, you are stopped by an older man with a cast on his leg. Could you help me go down these stairs? We don't have anatomy class. Help the man. Dex success. It takes you some time, but you successfully help the man and bring him a wheelchair. He thanks you and smiles, plus 10 experience. And we can level up. Okay, so second sight, we've seen that one. Self-therapy. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. I mean, at this rate, I don't know if we're actually going to even make it to having five spells, so... This may actually be useful. Art knowledge. Plus one perception. You've got an eye for art and details. Let's go with self-therapy and stamina. 
Because, yeah, unfortunately, I'm kind of just restrained to... I'm having to use level-ups to regain stamina and reason, since somebody corrupted the water at home immediately. Whooper, looking at you. Because apparently I can't look away from you, you're irresistible. The next day passes without any incident, and before you know it, another evening has come. With an increasing reluctance, you head toward the hospital. Still the same. As a part of the therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of their work fills you with dread, minus two reason. We might be forgetting that spell pretty soon here. Your friend just keeps staring at you. Did I tell you, you're really beautiful? They ask, twisting their swollen lips in a smile. <sighs> yeah. Don't go yet! New achievement unlocked. Considering we got it right after this message, that might be the one for investigating enough locations with the compass, so good. Taking its toll, you were planning out your next steps. It got you thinking about everything that needs to be done, and then everything that could happen, and every awful thing that's already happened, and... And now you, all you can think about is just how scary and horrible things are. Mmm. Mood. Yeah. That's what a nice downward spiral feels like. I, I know that feel. Cry or push through it. I feel like I remember crying being a charisma check, which ours isn't super great. Push through it? You really are pathetic. You wipe your eyes and just try to keep going, but no matter how hard you try, you can't get those thoughts out of your head, minus one reason. So that's not even a check. Wow. Rude. The next day passes without any incident, and before you know it, another evening has come. Back to the hospital. Okay. Same old, same old. You stumble upon a nurse trying to open a door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. When she turns around, her face makes you scream in horror. Doll nurse. Are you the one that I'm supposed to assess the situation? And that you don't attack unless I do, so it's actually a safe move. I think that's the case? Assess the situation, learn about your enemy. Uh, I mean, I don't think I really want to attack this turn if that's the case, so... I'll look for an improvised weapon just so I have something for selling fodder, maybe? Undead female. Blind. Won't attack unless provoked. A keen astronomy fan. Staring at it for too long, she discovered the horrible truth about our sun. The solar worms have marked her. Okay, found a broken bottle. Last tulip. Uh, we'll put that away. So, no notification of it doing anything else, unless it got scrolled down by me looking for an item. I feel like I remember something about that it's supposed to teach you a spell, but I might be thinking of the wrong enemy. Let me try it one more time, but just not do anything else. Enemy doesn't do anything. So, yeah, nothing else is going on. Because <sighs> I know this is something that has come up, and I always forget which is the enemy that this actually relates to. So 
So it's three or four damage. We've got 93% chance to hit. But you go after my reason, which is already very low. Because, yeah, that would only be nine damage, so this would be going on for a couple of turns at least. So I'd be losing at least two reason to this. I'm just left to think that the combat here actually may not be worth it. But yeah, it's annoying because I forget what the enemy is that that's a thing for, and I know I've asked about it before and I've been told the answer, and I just... It keeps leaving my memory. Final phase of my surgery is tomorrow. I just can't wait to show you the results. You can't help but shudder thinking about the final day. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. The elevator door's open. Hi there! Luck check failure. Elevator doors open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up in a doctor's office. A nurse discovered you lying unconscious on the elevator floor, minus three reason. Yeah, we're gonna worry about getting spells on another run. Forget this spell, plus one reason. But we actually get two because of the self-therapy. Still not a great amount. Finally, it's last night you have to spend with them. Okay, so I can't do anything else. You're shocked to find an empty bed. The trail of blood on the floor leads to a bathroom. Ignoring the faint footsteps from the corridor, you take a step toward it. The footsteps are getting louder. Do you like what I did with my face? I've always admired you, you know. Even when you acted like you don't know me at all. I think the result is perfect. Too perfect, in fact, for two people to share the same face. Look, how do you even know my face? I'm just saying. I'm a bedsheet ghost. I don't know about you. Minus three all. 28 HP, 25 power. 75% chance to hit. Yeah, I can't sneak two of those in. So. Do we have any benefit to the fact that we never gave her the package? Well, we got two of the hits in. Your friend punches you. They can only punch us. It still does a lot of damage. Presumably less, though, than if they had the knife. to hit. Oh, this still might not go well. This is just a nasty fight. Ah, missed two hits. Yeah, we're dead. I don't know why it's letting me live this long, but there's nothing we're going to be able to do about it. I should actually just prepare the hit to make sure it, finish this, it finishes them off. So we defeated the transfer student. The person who tried to steal your life now lies on the hospital floor dead. Maddened, you keep smashing their face in until only a gory mess remains. When you come back to your senses, you stumble out of the hospital room and into the dark corridor. The doors to other rooms slowly begin to open, and you're reminded about what the crazed fiend told uh, your crazed friend told you the other patients about you. Uh, I'm sorry. And you are reminded about what the crazed friend told the other patients about you. Out of every room stretches the bandaged head of a patient. Their bruised face is eerily similar. They all want to meet you. Okay. Rewards for solving the mystery. Plus 30 experience. Minus 3 doom. Plus 1 reason. Stamina. Not enough. We're still dead. Plus 1 day. Heart of Darkness. The imposing shadow casted by the old lighthouse is getting longer each day. Extra floor for the lighthouse. We're not even gonna get there.
Because, uh, yeah, we can't do anything about healing the reason. Technically, even if we could, I think it only would heal one reason, and thus it wouldn't be enough to save us. So, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a case of as soon as we go out the door, we're going right to the psych ward. Because this is obviously a reason loss. I don't think I have anything. Curious package, broken bottle, so yeah, neither of those is going to do anything. Can I do anything with a curious package now that that mystery is over? Nope. We'll just forever wonder what's inside. Which, I know, it's a steak knife that they wanted to use on us. So, uh, yeah. I guess let's start an investigation and, uh, go on a little trip. There we go. <laughs> that encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped and you've been locked up in an asylum. It'd be comforting to accept that you were insane that no old god is awakening to devour humanity, but the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. So, uh, yeah, the bedsheet ghost just went home and couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> Cause of death, reason loss, so, uh, yeah. We at least got three achievements out of that, so we did get some stuff done. But man, yeah, that end battle is just mean. Minus three all. Ooh. I know I have survived that mystery before in a run. I don't remember how I managed it. I can only imagine maybe it was the athletic student just because, I mean... <laughs> they... They can just... Uh, she can just steamroll encounters. So, uh, yeah. That's my only guess. So anyway, let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, I still wonder what the difference is between cigarettes and normal cigarettes other than cost. Light burn. Equip two sources of light at the same time. Unlocks heavy duty flashlight. Okay. Wait for it. During combat, prepare to strike, but don't attack that turn. Unlocks pocket knife. Junior Scout. Investigate 20 locations with a compass equipped. Unlocks map. So all those times that I got the event that requires the map, I didn't even have a map available. Good to know. I was wondering why I never saw the map. <laughs> well, there's that. So anyway, we're up to 49 out of 88 achievements. We're over halfway there, apparently. So hey, progress. Progress even in failure. At least this time we were trying. It wasn't a run where there was just obviously no point in trying. But uh, yeah, so the Luigi run got a sanity loss. I feel like every time I have purposefully tried to seed a run with something somebody has requested me to use as a seed, it's been a reason loss. It happened when I used my own name for the, uh, for the seed, and now it's happened with Luigi. <laughs> Coincidence? Anyway, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. And don't seed your runs, it'll just make you go crazy. Minus all the reason. <laughs>